This week, we do- More porgs! More porgs! This week on the Star Wars Show, Anthony sits down with preachers Julie and Emery. We put on a pork poetry slam. And much, much more. Now, from the Lucasfilm headquarters, it's the Star Wars Show. Hi, I'm Anthony Carboni. And I'm Andy Gutierrez. Welcome to the Star Wars Show, a show whose most important segment is in the first minute, but the best segment is always at the end. So what do you call all the stuff in the middle? Content. Really good content. Well then, to the content. <laughs> Lego Star Wars The Freemaker Adventures debuted its second season this past weekend. And unlike last year with an episode a week, this season you'll get a new episode every Monday through Thursday up until the season finale two weeks from today on August 16th. You can watch season two of Freemaker on Disney XD and the Disney XD app. The number one source for Han Solo news, the stars and filmmakers' own personal social media accounts have been releasing tons of behind-the-scenes photos of the film currently in production. Last week we got a look at cinematographer Bradford Young and Ron Howard pointing at a depressed-looking alien on set, while Amelia Clark celebrated 10 million Instagram followers by posting a video of Jonas Suetamo in full Chewbacca costume running around to celebrate the momentous achievement. This follows previous reveals from Ron Howard of Warwick Davis being part of the film, a hyperspace scene being shot, Chewbacca in the video village, and and this mysterious shot of a closet. What does it all mean? I don't know, man, but we'll find out for sure when the film is released May 25th, 2018. Finally, we asked you for your Porg poetry, and boy, oh boy, did we get a lot of entries, which is why we here at the Star Wars Show are pleased to present to you our first ever Porg Poetry Slam. Enjoy. It sees through your lies, no matter what form of proof. Look deep within its eyes. The poor gullet will know the truth. Can't wait to see what the porgs can do. Too bad they weren't around to save Mace Windu. I got bit by a porg and it was dope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. Porgs. Look at him, he's heading for that small moon. That's no moon. So excited to have in the studio now. She was Betsy Kettleman in Better Call Saul. She was in Fargo. And now she is in Preacher as one of my favorite characters from the comic, Featherstone. Featherstone. Julianne Emery, thank yes. you so much for coming by. I am completely geeking out to be here. <laughs> I'm a little overstimulated. That's a common thread. That's a common thread when yeah, people come in. Yeah, I'm a little, you know, I'm, I'm a little hyped up. What was your first Star Wars experience? When Empire Strikes Back came out, my mom saved us money and took us to Empire Strikes Back, even though she was not a sci-fi fan. And my brother and I, our little minds were just completely blown. We were really enamored. What hooked you? A couple of things hooked me about the original VHS. So we saw it on VHS before Empire came out. And the biggest thing was I was a girl, but I was a tomboy and Carrie Fisher. She looked at the boys and said, you're dumb. You're going to get us killed. Give me that blaster. And she fired back and she was actionary. I wanted to be Han Solo, but I really dug Carrie Fisher. I really dug Princess Leia. Literally everybody wants to be Han Solo. Yes, <laughs> totally. I don't think there's anybody that doesn't. Totally. But it was, she was the first princess that didn't wait for someone to save her. And she was large and in charge. And I was immediately hooked. I feel like that sort of informs the characters that you play now and the choices you make and what you like to That's play. It's interesting because when I started thinking about becoming an actress, I didn't want to be an actress, I wanted to be an actor. I didn't want to play the girl parts that were coming across my desk, right? I wanted to play all the guy parts. When I saw Force Awakens, I thought Ray is everything I was desperate to see when I was a little girl. Now we're finally moving into a moment where we have some really strong, awesome female characters to play. You were telling me that you are a big reader of the novels as well. Yeah, my husband and I do a lot of cross-country travel and we do a lot of road trips and camping and we always listen to the audiobooks. So not only am I a reader of the novels, but I like Mark Thompson. I mean, like we have our favorite readers. We have 
have our favorite series. What's your favorite series right now? The Legend Era. I like when we get into the Yuzhong Vong. Yeah. It's really fascinating. Everything is organic in their ships and their weapons and everything. Some of what they're doing, I totally get. It's, yeah. it's very interesting. You see where they're coming from. I see where they're coming from. Yeah, they think it's heresy to have like an entire planet just covered in buildings and they think everything should kind of grow and come from nature. I love it. And so the, the new season of Preacher is airing now. When can yes. we watch it? Monday nights on AMC. Awesome. I'm yeah. so excited to watch thank it. Julie, you. thank you so much Oh my for God, thank by. you for having me here. I'm going to go take pictures for two hours now. <laughs>